Hey y'all, hey, I know I said I wasn't gonna do a garden update, but I came out here, I weed eat that whole area over there. It was horrible. I should have took a before picture. It looked like a jungle. Are you kidding? My cucumbers are over there too. So I'm gonna start here in this first raised bed. I took all of my, um, all of these containers right here with my peppers in it. And then I have some over there. My cabbage started putting back out. The ones that I had before that the worms ate up. I'm so excited about it. I, I had no intentions on trying to do. You, you good on the um, water for the pecan tree. My daughter's assisting me right now in between her classes. Oh my God, I didn't even bring it up putting back out. Wow. Y'all, they had died. The heat killed them. And it's been kind of, not cold, but the perfect fall temperature. It's peppers on there. All of these have peppers on them. So what I'm going to do, because they need more room, I'm going to transplant them from my container into my raised bed number one. Here, this is my pecan tree, she just got some water in it. So raised bed number two, I'm gonna take all of this cabbage right here that's in these containers. As you can see, I popped the leaves off when um, the worms ate everything. And y'all, I've really been neglecting them. I've been just letting the, the <laughs> God's rain give them what they need. They are trying to come back out my cabbage look at my cabbage y'all and the leaves are thick let's pray that there is nothing coming on them i'm nervous about it even these over here in this bin some of them are trying to come back out okay, so we're gonna take these and hopefully not damage them first let me go ahead and harvest jalapenos are still giving me a harvest one squash some jalapeno and two okra so this is the table i had everything on i'm about to clean this table off and take it back in the house and that's where i'm gonna start my seeds at to get ready for next year and these are my tomatoes from the school tomato that i planted with the seeds so you can take produce plant it and get you a harvest. These are about to turn and these are ripe. So I'm gonna go ahead and take them. Uh-oh, they fell off. There we go. And that's my little harvest for today. Y'all, I even got a cucumber. I went over there cleaning out the area I had just cut and I had a cucumber over there. But, oh, it's no good. Y'all excuse the dirty nails, but I'm gardening. But I grew, I grew, I grew a cucumber, mommy. <laughs> and now I have my jalapenos transplanted into my first raised bed. I feel good about that. I had no intentions on doing this today, but whenever I get energy is when I start doing what I need to do. I've been putting this stuff off, y'all, because I haven't been feeling good. 
So now I'm about to move on to raised bed number two. I'm gonna take the cabbage out of these containers and I'm gonna transplant them into this raised bed number two. Okay, so I'm done with transplanting the cabbage into raised bed number two. Now I'm just gonna give it some water. I'm gonna, I gotta add some more soil right there. I just noticed that on that one right there. So I'm gonna do that. Then I'm gonna go and get the grass cuttings that I just did and I'm gonna put that down. Either that or I'm gonna put some straw down. And that's it y'all. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you're new or returning, thank you for being here. And please hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on your post notifications. Leave me a comment down below. Did you do a fall garden? Um, did you give up on your garden like I did? And, and just had a burst of energy and just felt the, the urge to get it in. So I'll give you a garden update in about two or three weeks. See y'all on the other side of tomorrow.